welcome back to the fucking show. Uh, we're back at some Dungeon Crawl Classics. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, these two head. just beat the shit out of a couple of small, innocent <laughs> little dinosaurs. Just one toilet seat. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. And one child. And one... Right, we won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that child got the worst of it. Yeah. <laughs> I just screamed it right there, so... So, uh, they moved Whoa. into... <clears throat> Is that? Sorry, I was, I was, oh, this or that? I was you were swallowing right over my beer. Oh, and it it's makes a your chest hurt. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> you guys moved into the tower. It's they were playing a, the classic adventure once again. Uh, tower out After of time. Two. Level 2 Dungeon Crawl classic I, adventure. I just put it back on the screen for a second. Nah, I have some other. Sh- you can. I got some other shit to show. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you guys moved into the tower. First area, thick, almost rainforest-esque setting. You're moving across. Dan uses an ability to see into the future. Where he sees that Joe's character... Uh, was about to be trounced by dinosaurs. Yeah. Mew was about to get attacked. By two little dinosaur dudes. He was about to get dinosaur. Uh, yes. Uh, mm-hmm. You warned him, moved out of the way. Chris mutilated the crap yeah. out of one of them. Yeah, don't worry about that one. I <laughs> stabbed other, his eye out and squished his guts out the socket. The other ran in fear. So now you all are... <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Uh-huh. Now you're ready to move up to the next level of the tower. All right. Uh, so as you proceed up the stairs, uh, the it's once again it's a warm, humid space. Another large, circular room with like uh, except for one corner of the room is kind of flat, like it's been walled off. Uh, but you do see the ramp moving up uh, on the far side. Uh, the ramp is moving. I'm sorry. The ramp going Rises. up. Uh, but also awesome. in this area, <laughs> the ramp rises. Uh, you see hammocks uh, crafted <laughs> from giant woven leaves hanging from some of the walls. That's I'm going to go take a nap. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, there's a number of, it looks like, sleeping mats on mm. the floor that look like they're made out of kind of the same woven leaves uh tops and bottoms yeah in the center on one of these maps is uh it looks like it's almost got like a dinner spread set up you see bowls and gourds containing water fruit raw meats uh underneath the crowd just a swarm of buzzing flies uh like it's been there for a bit or I uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell in a place like this. You know, if you're in a place with flies in it, it could you just bust be out. a normal amount of flies. Yeah, it's still hot and humid. But sitting around this small feast are three large ape-looking creatures. I don't like that. Uh, but the thing that's fucked up is each one of these ape-looking creatures has a weird protrusion. Uh, on the back of its head. Oh. oh. Like a brain slug. Like a brain slug. It's a large, gray, slug-like thing fastened to the back of each one of its heads and it gyrates and it pulses a little bit. Maybe you can see some vein Ugh. texturing. Uh, the two old, two old's talking about dick apes. Everything. They're peen apes. <laughs> oh no, peen apes. Get it right. Um, I'm PJ. Gonna, I'm going to take my sailcloth I have and make myself a little covering. Oh, protecting your head? Yes. I have a helmet. Uh huh. I don't have a helmet because I didn't see anywhere to buy one. I have a quality cloak, so I'm just going to put my hood up there. I bought one with my randomly I'm selected I'm going to set class. myself up That's like right. a Russian grandma. <laughs> Tie that around my head. <laughs> they're they're basically untouchable. Yeah. Proof. Just give you a purse and you can beat anybody proof. up. Yeah, I'm gonna trade my mace for a purse. And... So 
I'll keep my beard down. As you all move up into the area, you see these three ape-like creatures sitting across... I keep putting my map in weird places. Like, do we see the exit of this area? Uh, you do see right almost across the room from where you come up, you see the ramp going up. Hmm. But then also, uh, so you come up, you see across, you see the ramp. To the left of where you are, you can see it looks like it's kind of cut off. You know that it, the room should be circular, fitting the tower, but it's like a flattened off section. You see a door in that section of wall as well. Hmm. Uh, but as you begin to move up the tower, you're up the ramp into this room, and you take a long, hard look around real quick, and you see these eight creatures, and they see you too. Oh, man. Oh, man. So for my idea. Roll That's initiative. Oh. Uh -oh. oh. Okay. Could use that earlier. Yeah. But that's okay. So much for that, though. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Crap. Man, you're fast. <laughs> Can I borrow a D6, Chris? I hope I can do no. it again when no. I need it. Thank you, sir. Or do you have... Wait, I can just ask you for a D16. Thank you. I wanted to try the second side before we got it. Uh, yeah. I had a 19. two-handed weapon? Uh, yeah, I'm using a bow, Hi. which counts as two-handed weapon. Well, I had rolled a 19, and then I realized I needed to roll a D16, so I got a 10. Okay. Chris? 17. Joe? Four. Dan? I wasted my nat 20 of the night getting a 20. <laughs> Jake? 17. Nice. So, uh, unsurprisingly, Dan gets to go first. I think that is kind of surprising, actually. It's well, not when he rolled a 20. Oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to push my luck and attempt. To... Chris, hang on a second. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Dan. Chris, Jake. What are your agility modifiers? Uh, negative one. Plus one. All right, so Chris is going to go second. Jake is going to go third. That sounds fit. So, Dan, you're up. All right, I'm going to roll a little couple more dice here. Just because I want to right. figure out the set to use. I did, apparently. What did you get? Uh, I get a uh, 23 with Blessing. What? Oh, you're doing Blessing again? Yes. Oh, uh, that's right, because you cast it last time. With a and I rolled a 4. <laughs> okay. That's useless. So, so what is... What's going on? The Cleric receives a bonus to all attack rolls, damage rolls, saving through his skill checks and spell checks. Equal okay. to a D3 plus cleric level. So describe to me once again what it looks like when you cast this I'm spell. going to, like, illuminate. Okay, so you, Dan's cleric illuminates, and now he's really good it at Has your hair how changed, long? Col changed colors? It does. Just a little bit. It gets a little longer also. Plus. Is that in the description? No. Okay. <laughs> so, I get a, uh, I got a, just a, a, a three. I rolled a D6. I got a three. Uh, plus two, so it's plus five. Last for one turn, I radiate the aura, and my allies within five feet receive the same blessing. Wow. So what do they get? Everybody gets plus five to Ooh, attack that. rolls, damage rolls, saving throws, skill checks, and spell checks. Until? One round. My turn. Okay. But you have to be within five feet of him. Which I assume everybody is. Uh, right now, yes. Touch butts. Everybody get your butts together. But once they start moving away from you to move, engage these animals. I know, but not, not only probably one person is doing that, I imagine. Unless mm. you're going to move up yeah. next to them. Wait. Well, I think that the... the I'm aura? Is, is it an aura that puts this effect on you for one turn? Or is it an aura that while you're within it, you get this effect? It radiates for me, and while you're in it, you get the effect. So okay. he gets the ability, Let me and then the aura... And how long as long as they last? remain One within the armor. Yeah. One round. Till the end of his next round. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up so. <laughs> as far as I can and keep everybody in the back of my armor. Uh, I'll give it to you. You can actually move up to an engaged range with these ape creatures. That's a terrible idea. If you want to move that far up. 
Uh, I want to be five feet away from them. Okay. So I'm like five feet in front That's of That's what I mean. I, I want the casters and people like that, more importantly. Because okay. I think everybody's staying back except for Chris. Well, I think I we have, have two warriors, sword, so... Yeah, I'm warrior. Okay. Uh, okay, I want the edge of my circle to be where they would be okay. if they're engaged. Chris, you're up. So your cleric casts a spell and moves up. You get the feeling that if you stand within that aura of magic, cool shit will happen. Okay. Is there... If I stay within five feet of him, can I actually attack one of those? I moved up yeah. so that you can, yes. Okay. Yeah, he moved up so you would be within that five feet. And how far up did he move? Uh, with an engage. You can get up to melee range with that if you want. Yes. Right, I'm just trying to decide if I can do a charge. Uh, that adds, uh, that's an extra action that lets you move. As long as you move half of your action, you get a bonus to, to attack. Yeah. But then you get a reduction in AC, correct? I believe so. Okay, I'll, yeah, you, you can definitely charge. <clears throat> okay, I mean, does the, the, does the half movement thing go you up with to, your movement? You have to move at least half of your movement. You have to okay. move 15 feet. Well, no, I, I can move 45 feet. No, but you can get to him no problem with oh. your charge. Okay. Make sure you guys do descriptions of what you're doing, so I don't have to. If Work. necessary, you can always run in a circle. And no, you have to turn in a straight line, don't you? Yeah. Oh, dang. <laughs> so you walk backwards. Wind up the walk backwards. Yeah, you walk backwards as much as you need oh, shit. for it to be. I get the question you were asking. So you yeah. need to move. Is there 25 feet between me and the gorilla dude? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. That would put you right with them. Okay. With I'll, I'll still give it to you. Still within his aura of effect. I think it's like plus two to attack, but minus two to AC. I didn't say hi to Bizlab, did I? Bizlab, hey, thanks for coming by. That's super fucking cool. You get a plus five. Uh, and we were just actually talking plus about those uh, steam, and steel, and murder a little oh, while right. ago. And your uh, the D&D games that you were just talking about. Right yeah. Now. Loot, looting those chests from the bottom. Yeah. I, I told your story. Yeah. <laughs> I told the advice, the information you shared. Continue on, Chris. I want to try to, well, damn it, I already rolled. Never mind. Um, that's definitely going to hit. Okay. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a 22. Yeah, that's definitely it. <clears throat> and you run off your charge and you're attacking the eight dudes. Yes. I'm going to stab him. Get those eight boys. Mm, get them eight oh, boys. Shit. Uh, that's ill. Well, no. With his blessing, it's 16 damage. Doesn't apply. Damage rolls. It's still up. Whoa. Did you aim for the brain slug or aim for the ape? He said the ape. I just aimed for the ape. I was going to call a deed and aim for the brain slug, but I rolled first. So oh, dice. yeah, can't do that. Yeah. I mean, there's two dice, at least, there. Yeah. Okay. The, pro the problem is that I know it would have um, been a success. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Good, good honesty, though. Yeah. I... You can move to the back of my five feet. Yeah, I can. But I have... The last time I threw my dagger, I threw it into melee, and I don't want to do that again because there are problems. If I yes, miss. there are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there so, are. Hmm. It's 50 50, man. You Take get, the risk. You get a plus five from me. Mm -hmm. As long as you live in my I hand. just don't yeah, touch I'm my dice. Put that tonight. plus five on. Uh... You could put on a spell, too. Yeah, and let's say I hit him. It also gets plus five. It's only 50 50 if you well, miss it. It applies to your checks, too. Yeah, well, what we're saying is the way the rule works if you make a ranged attack into yep. melee while you have an ally and you miss with that ranged attack, There's 50, you 50 roll shot. a 50% chance. Mm -hmm. Roll if it's 50 or lower, your attack goes towards an ally of yours in that yep. melee. So then you roll the attack again 
Oh, and see if it hits your ally. Yeah, so he would oh. be rolling with that plus five. Because <laughs> I'm going to be a dick like that. I mean, you gotta do, you gotta do something. Yeah, I'm going to run up next to you, then I'm going to throw my dagger at the guy. <sighs> yeah. Might as well. Oh, hey, Perfect. there we go. Right Let's after get, I attack. 20 him. total. Are you throwing nice. this one at the one that Chris just attacked? Yep. Okay. And that's good. Good. You're not going to hit me. Seven damage. You get plus five on it? Mm hmm. This dagger just like whizzes you past my ear into his face. Sink this with a dagger. Wait, explain to me how you kill this thing. Well, uh, I assume it got up and made some sort of monkey noise at us. <laughs> and then he ran up making godly noises. He ran up making kill monkey noises. <laughs> and then while everybody's screaming, I just go, ah! And right in the head. Right? <laughs> After I stab it, it's like... <laughs> you went... You went <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> like over his shoulder. So you, you you sink this dagger right into this thing's forehead and it falls forward and kind of like tumbles off of Chris because Chris is standing there right next to him like brushes off to the side. And this thing falls dead onto the ground and the weird little brain slug thing detaches from the back of its head and it's writhing there on the ground. Oh boy! Oh I'm going to make a stab for that next turn. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> then we have to see what happens if we put our brain slug on the front of their face. Oh, <laughs> and exciting. <laughs> so, is it now twice as powerful? Or given. is it double fucked? You know, since I'm a wizard, I'm going to say, um, I want those slugs alive! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see what happens. Uh, it's <laughs> these things' turn. One of the two apes doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's uh, spooky. <laughs> Menacingly? Or Menacingly. <laughs> like JoJo's like, it's happening. Yeah. He like pulls out a blade and he's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some, some I had something for you. Mm. It's like, oh no. He's got bombs. There, licking his lips and glaring at you. <laughs> the other one moves up to it's you, Chris. <laughs> and just Joking. fucking clubs you with a giant fist straight down on you. Like that picture. Uh, Much like that picture. I'm going to guess that this is a miss. Oh, I didn't center that picture very well. Does a 10 hit? Nope. Uh, you did not You're center off that by 7. Well, it would fit for the other thing. The... It's so hard to... With this and get it in there. Slug writhing so on the ground. Cool. Oh, I didn't get this brain slug on my arm either. Yeah, Blast you, Dan, with a burst of energy. The brain slug does? Uh huh. I don't like that. It rolled a fumble. Oh, good. Hopefully, it blasts the other eight. Oh, damn. Good job, brain slug. I, I really don't want to have to chest my, my plus five save throw because I'll still 20 roll 20 IQ brain slug. I'll still roll in the dirt. Can someone tell me off the top of their head what you the die roll for a couple of mm. uh, It depends on your armor, doesn't it? Yeah. It could be a d4. could be a d4. It could be a d6. This would be a d4. Okay. So I'm going to roll a d4. Mine's a d16. D4 on the table. Uh, adjust my luck. <clears throat> Hopefully he's not a lucky slug. Adjust by luck? It, uh... Yeah. It tries to blast you, but it you misses. subtract my luck? There's some other effect that happens. Whichever you, is better? As a player, you would have no idea that something additional happened. You just know it tried to do... Like, you felt a weird wave of energy I'm come across you, but it just kind of collapsed in the attack. You can tell it didn't go right for this thing. Okay. That doesn't make me feel better. But... Uh, and that's where we'll leave what happened there. Uh, next up, Tyler. Oh, hey. Okay. Quit okay. talking around with that okay. shit, guys. It's Save awfully it. loud on microphone. I I'm apologize. Goddamn. <laughs> I want to take advantage of his mystical magical aura but I don't have any spells that do any damage which is very sad yeah 
So instead, I'm going to shoot an arrow with this uh, slug creature because he scares me. Okay. He's on the ground? Five. Yes. Okay. And I'm not a wizard, so I don't care about him being left alive. I can't let that slug creature steal my job. That's right. Uh, does a 15 Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah. Charge. Sweet. Um, I need my noggin intact. And then that is, I believe, 8 damage. Okay. An arrow stuck into this thing, but it's still writhing around on the ground. Uh, next up... Is Joe Jake? You've gone already. You threw a dagger. Joe, mm -hmm. you're up. Uh, so there's two, right? There's the slug writhing on the ground with an arrow sticking out. Yeah, of it. and the uh, and the slug. There's yeah. two. There was the ape creature that was standing there menacingly, and then there's the other one that tried to club Chris with the fist. Um, the one that clubbed Chris, I'm gonna go for the slug on its head. Okay. Uh, try and. You're going to have a negative two penalty on this. Okay. Because it's essentially it's got cover. Okay, that's fine. I'm going uh, to aim for it. It's cover is the ape's off. head. Okay. Try and. Are they, is it like laying on its back or does it protrude out at all? Like... It like It's attached to the back of the skull and then it kind of drapes down like back its neck, uh, of its neck. It's got a lovely bun. Yeah, it's like it's like got a, a really neck. big gross hair bun. And mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And a lunch lady. Could you just do that as a deed? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. If you want to do it as a deed, I would let that happen. Okay. I need that D four. Oh dang. Um. He don't do does it. a. 14 hit. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Which one was this? The one that was trying to club Chris and the one that's standing there? This is the one that was trying to club. Okay. I say club. He was just swinging with his hand. Yeah. He clubbed yeah. it with his fist. Yes. He just racked his knuckles on my armor. Ow. It's actually 50. And then we still have that plus 5 damage. Only if you're within the... You stunned, I think, Which I think I was. Yeah, so Christmas. if you moved up into melee range, then yes, you will be. Yeah. It's because you're picking it. Uh, yeah. What are you guys talking about? The microphone can hear everything, single thing you whisper. <laughs> I stunned my finger on the table, so it probably heard that, too. Yes, it did. Okay. And it hurt. Uh, ten damage to the slug. It is still up. That was a sturdy slug. Yes, it is a sturdy are. slug. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. The ape tried to pound. <laughs> the ape. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It tried to smash it. Uh, yeah, it been pink. Did it react at all? Did the ape react at all to it? Uh, not slug? really, no. Okay. But the, oh, you can tell the slug definitely recoiled and flailed a little bit as your sword bit into it. Okay. You already That's went good. again, didn't you? No. I'm not. Uh, then the turn did passes you, back up to Dan. Did you add your plus fives? <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, I'm gonna. I feel like I should just see if I get lucky enough to do that again. Okay, you're gonna cast it again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, critical fail. Critical nobody fail. Nobody is of the chaotic. Uh, not not so good this time. I, I just get plus one. Okay, just you. Just me. Okay, so next turn. Thank you. Oh wait, do I still get my plus five? Is that on my previous one. What does that read? For one turn. The same as this one. Well, the effect only goes in for you, right? I targeted myself last time as well. Well, what I'm saying is, if you... Can you choose the target? I'm targeting myself both can times. Can you choose the target? I do, yes. Okay. And what does it say? It says it lasts until your next turn. It says it lasts for one round, which is where I'm I would say at. that's until the end of your next turn. So that would mean this round you would still have the plus five effect. So that doesn't, that doesn't give me to something ridiculous, but it gives me, I think, a plus two instead of a plus one. 
Okay, that's the only reason. So the next turn, you have a plus two to whatever you're going to do. Yeah. Okay. I was uh, hoping to just give us that sweet, sweet boost to get out of it. Chris, you're up. Three creature. Uh, wait. The one that tried to club you. Uh huh. Jake killed. Did he? Or no, Jake, you killed it before it attacked Chris. That's correct. Yeah, that was a different one. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. So. There's the one that tried to club you and the one that was standing there menacingly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, <clears throat> I am going to attack the one that tried to club me. Alright. Uh, okay. Oh, fuck. I did it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I forgot to say I'm... Um, Trying to attack his worm slug thing. I'll let it happen this time. Next time I won't. Okay. Well, it succeeds then. Okay. You hit the slug. This is the so same one that ten. Joe hit the slug on last time. Um, the to hit would be fourteen. That's mm -hmm. a hit. Nice. Neat. Ooh. And that's going to be uh, 12 damage. Okay. Very nice. That slices the thing clean off. What, what kind of weapon are you using? A spear. Okay. You pierce the thing off the back of this ape creature's head, and you just rip it clean off, and the thing dies on your spear tip. Nice. And I just go like this. <laughs> Just whip it off. The ape corrects its posture and says, You removed my limiter. <laughs> uh, Thank you. <laughs> There's still the one writhing on the ground. I'm going to try and get it. I'll resume my duties as caretaker of this palace. What are you going to do? I'm going to run <laughs> up to it and try and bag it with the quality cook. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'll just I'll let you do it. Alright. It doesn't really have, you know, resisting arms or anything like that. Damn so. yeah, right. Let's see. So, Lord. Just smack it a couple times with the blunt weapon. You know, runs up and scoops it up in his cloak. <laughs> if it starts getting antsy this round, my next turn, I'm doing this with it. It's like a, a bag full of kittens that he's ready to toss off a bridge. Oh, oh God. God. Absolutely. <laughs> it's dark. Um, the most horrible and the most satisfying sound in the world. <laughs> Killing bats in Minecraft? Satisfying. Tyler, how close were you? Uh, I'm kind of like off behind. You're doing that. Because I have a ranged weapon. Yeah. So you two are in melee, right? Yeah, we're, we're the one two up in the bunk. And he's throwing a I'm slug? probably like 10 feet away. What's happening? Chris, no, he's not. It's the one, one that you speared Dave's turns. The, the slug off of last round roars just this primal fucking shriek and raises up real tall and just attacks the ever-loving shit out of you. You did ruin his little <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, what's your AC? Uh, 17. Uh, luckily, you're able to deflect it with your armor. It's just like the Rick and Morty episode. When, you know, <laughs> they took all the people out from their mind control and then they all went nuts. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's enraged attack fails against your armor. Yeah. The, uh, it's like better not next time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, other one, though, the one that stood menacingly, looks at you, Dan. And you feel a wave of energy wash over. I don't like it. 
Give me just a second. I gotta look up a rule. Is that okay. energy like he feels invigorated or energy like foreign nastiness? It's uh, negative vibes, man. It's very negative vibes, man. It's like, I think you want to Sounds like perfect like time for a word from so our sponsors. This is negative. <laughs> yes, yeah, good idea. Jake, take it away. Fight melanoma the faith healing way with holy moly. <laughs> Stab <Stand> on. <laughs> <laughs> so you take that the top. Oh, God. Oh, God. Slap it on with the tenacity of a televangelist and kiss your condition goodbye. Or if, you, or if you'd rather not pay for an obvious scam, try Libra Sarcana instead. <laughs> they sell actual dice, which don't claim to cure cancer, and uh, they also have subscription services. And if you put promo code COBOL, in the checkout screen, you can save twenty percent off your first set for your subscription. So, oh, that was good. Yeah. It's a good idea. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Not the really melanoma bad. thing. The dice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, the dice are really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I was already. <laughs> no, you're never ready for Jake. It's that was. It's always something new and unique. It's going to make the end of my player much softer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's rolling lots of dice. You might be worried. I, I was worried the uh, first time he said something happened, but I don't know what. You take two damage. Oh. And then you die. And then I need to And to then make. you die. Because I said so. <laughs> then I need you to make a will save. Oh, fucking Christ, of course. Do you get that plus two? Uh, yeah, with a plus two and then another plus two, it's an eight. You are now stunned for a round. Because so at the end of your next round... Four again. Yeah, at the end of your next round, you are no longer stunned. You also fall to the bottom of the initiative order. Oh, well, that sucks. Tennis. Uh, you've already taken your turn this round. So I'm at the bottom of this initiative round? You're at the bottom of the next initiative. That's why I was afraid. Oof. No, I'm going to go to the restroom, guys. <laughs> you got time. <laughs> I get to take a long break. Man. So, uh, the one clubbed and attacked you, the other one used this psychic blast thing at Dan. Uh, you've got the other one in your bag. You can feel it squirming and flailing in there. Oh, hell yeah. I got a free slug monster. Uh, so Tyler, Tyler Tower. it's your turn. Oh. One of these things is raging at Ty uh, Chris, and the other one just fucking psychic blasted the shit out of Dan. Something happened to Dan. And Dan we don't just know kind what. of went really? slack in the face. God, that beer is disgusting. Man, that, oh, yeah, that color spray is whispering to me, but. Color spray. Color spray. Oh. Let's roll. It's just some like, dice. I really want to kill one of my friends. Dude. <laughs> if only this, were, this game weren't called Dungeon Crawling Classics, <laughs> I could use Magic Missile. Right? <laughs> That's got to be the worst thing to have to. Well, I mean, this one's pretty bad. Oh god, I don't want to do it, but I want to do it so bad. You should do it. Just do it. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. You should Fuck do yeah. it. Are you casting color spray? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna cast die. color spray. Is it a good one? Like oh good no, spell? it's very. It's it's an okay spell. Well, that's worth the chance of death. That's right. It's worth a chance of death. All right. So okay. I'll let you carry out this attack, and then we're gonna roll some percentile to see who dies. I know it's gonna be me. Um, manifestation roll. Right I hadn't rolled yet, so. See what I mean? Broken but functional. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I I'm just, going I'll to. Just get some here we go. Color spray. Yeah. Yeah. Attempt to, to bring forth a spray of colored. Yeah. Colored oh, arrows. It's just roll duct tape down here. Like sitting on duct. Anyway, sorry, Chris, uh, Tyler. I'm gonna okay. attempt to bring forth a spray of colored arrows from my hands. And one okay. dead friend. Um. You could just throw that at me and I couldn't play good for you, Joe. You gotta roll your percentile. Not yet. 
I thought I'd have him before the... Well, I'm going to let him cast it. And since one of you is getting ready to die... <sighs> it's uh... me. <laughs> it's a flat D20 and I rolled a 5. So I lost the spell and I failed. Okay. And then one of us is going to die. And then one of us is going to die. <laughs> roll percentile. Well, I only if like you roll 50 or lower. If it's 50 Ooh. or above, it is someone that you know back home. It's a 53. Oh, man. <laughs> Maybe, and I lost the spell, so I can't do it again. <laughs> maybe it's your wife, child, eh, whatever, man. friend. I couldn't see the single right away. I saw the fifty, and I was like, "Please don't be a zero. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is a wizard's family we're talking about. For all we know, it's, he's just got like a whole bunch of people he's adopted. I have like twelve cats, and one of them is dead now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you killed one of your cats. Well, now you've lined up their first meal for when you don't come back home to eat. That's Ooh, right. There you go. <laughs> or that's when you mess up the uh, caretaker for all your cats Joe. dies. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, the one that's going ape shit. Let's see what you got. Uh, uh, got does, it. Does he, so does he seem? Ooh. Like he's more <laughs> deadly fire. now that his brain slug's been removed, or uh, does he, he seem seems different? Enraged. Okay. He seems to be like in a frenzy. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try and deal with that doodad then. Okay. I really did take off this longer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the back of his head because I bet it's kind of exposed right now because someone's been slugging on it. Yeah. Uh, right. Ooh, that's a critical. Oh, that's a bingo. I just had to say that we're not having much. That's luck, a so bingo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a crit hit? Yeah. All right, you got your dice table? Uh, table? I have I Chris's. That we're not having any luck. And then... Yeah, you guys use the same table, so. Yeah. yeah. So. There it is. Roll that bean footage. You should so, be rolling a d14. D14. Modified by your luck? Fucking one one right here. Ooh. Damn. Okay. That could be exciting. My lux is zero. So, so we can let it. Hammer his belly, causing massive internal bleeding. Jesus. Unless he receives magical healing, the foe dies in one d five hours. All right. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we can just run away. <laughs> Joe, you want to roll that d ten divided by two? My turn was d ten divided by two. Or just roll this d five. Oh, command. or just I roll the d five. A five. He dies in five hours. God damn it! If he's still alive in five hours, I roll that damage. <laughs> then he dies again. Uh, At the end of this hurt. episode, it should just say five hours later, and it cuts to a gorilla exploding. Five, <laughs> five point pump. Nine damage. You gotta do the. Uh, it's that final scene from Kill Bill Two. So yeah. Only the gorilla. Is there any multiplier or anything to critical hits, or is it just? Well, sometimes it adds Nine. damage. Uh, yeah, the critical hit table will add damage sometimes. Okay. Yeah, some just, some of them add damage, but there's no multiplier. Other than that, it's we can just flat. Check real yeah. quick. I don't believe there is. Are you using your lucky weapon? No, that doesn't do yeah. damage though. No. Um, you need to give us a. You're already dead, though, Jake. I can't do that. Oh, yeah. There it is. And then, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just whatever it says. Nine. Five hours. Because, like, if you roll really, really high, <laughs> like the. Uh, like, if you were to roll a 28, it would add 3d8 damage. Ah. Uh, and then double it. Or, like, when I, when I rolled the 14, it added 2d8. Uh, no, it doesn't say it does any additional damage natively. Okay. It's just whatever damage. the table says. Yeah. Okay. Yep, nine damage. Okay. Uh, next up is... Uh, that's the end of the turn, so next up is Chris. Yay! Because it would have been Dan. Yay. And now I'm gonna... Uh, BizLab, you are correct. Uh, it does not list the chart that specifies. So. All right. Thanks for that. I'm going to make a stab for under one of his arms, like in the pit, and I'm going to try to disable his arm. Oh, okay. You disarm him. Uh, uh, indeed, I rolled a three. Plus, plus, uh, 
What would that be? Plus three? Yeah, plus three. And the uh, 20 was an eight, so that's 14. Wait, to hit? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And the D die was a success. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Oh. oh. Same roll as when it was outside. Okay. Uh, that'll be nine damage. And his arm is immobilized. Uh, you have crippled his arm. Nice. His right arm. Because uh, I think he's right handed. His swinging arm. Just mm -hmm. say you're I don't know. He's a monkey. We don't yeah. know. Okay. Well, he's uh, left handed now. <laughs> whichever arm he seemed to be favoring. That's fair. Jake. <laughs> Yeah. Um. You know, I'm gonna roll up on that giant dude. I'm gonna swing his own slug at him. Okay. Uh, make your attack. Uh, are you proficient in improvised weapons? You're a wizard, so I'm gonna say no. No, I'm not. That's correct. So you need to roll a d16 on that. D16. <clears throat> Uh, the improvised D16. 3D6 minus 2. 3D6 minus 2. Alright. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be 4. <laughs> uh, that's a miss there. Or I guess uh, 5, because still strength. Yeah. Miss. Oops. Okay. Well. That's fine. It was worth a laugh. Yeah. I was going to slap <laughs> him with his friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 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 <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> <laughs> the rainbow butterfly would. <laughs> okay, so Tyler. Hi. Not Tyler. Chris. Oh. Hi. <laughs> How's this it going? A oops, attacks you with its off arm. Get some escape going on. There. Typical. Did I give him a penalty for using his off arm? You did. You moved him down the dice tray thing from a D20 oh, to sweet. a D16. But doing that was the highest roll he's had for the night. Oh. Oh. Does a. Does an 18 hit? Yes. Damn, but. My AC is 17. So he clubs you with his offhand. Mm -hmm. Four, six damage. That's the first time I've taken damage tonight. Bad uh, them. The other one who's up to now completely uninjured and completely. That slug is also injured. Been, uh, he's been preparing to menace us. Well, to death. that's the one that did that blast that disabled you. Okay, all right. Uh, there shall be the, the two left. Yeah. Uh, Jake, it looks at you. And you see, feel a wave of weird energy wash over you. Wait a minute, which one looks at me? The, the menacing one, the JoJo. Okay. The JoJo. There's 12 to beat your AC. Oh, God, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're going to need to make a will save. Will save. Coming up. Will you save? Nine, or, uh, 20. Nice. Oh, sorry, okay. That you one. feel it, some effect try to wash over you, but you shake it off easily. I tell him you can't bullshit a bullshitter. Uh, but you do take three damage. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I've been bullshit. Okay. <laughs> the shit has been delivered to your face. And uh, that goes to Tyler. How? Oh, I can't do my killing spell anymore. No, you can't. <laughs> That's very sad. If only you knew your enemies like you knew your friends. Yeah, because you, you permanently lost No, I lost it for a day. Yeah. Oh, a day. Okay. That's yeah. what uh, casting in this game is. You, you can keep casting spells. You don't have a certain number of spell slots. But if you roll low enough on that spell table, if you derp it up enough. It. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna just use my short bow. Again. And if you critical fail, you roll on the mishaps table for that spell. And there are some nasty things, uh huh, or amazing things 
on that mishap. I, I haven't really seen it. I could have changed my wizard's col- uh, hair color permanently mm-hmm. if I had rolled a one on that spell. Mm-hmm. There, there doesn't seem to be a lot of downside for missing cleric spells other than you just waste your turn. Yeah, it's more on the wizard side. The but wizards, their, their threshold for failure is pretty big. And it increases. Yeah. Um, what the hell was it? Oh, I'm going to use my short bow instead. Okay. Because I'm embarrassed about my terrible spell casting. I think, I think most of mine have a well, minimum of a 12. Oh, okay. Um, does at the big guy specifically. The one the that's menace- dwelling at Chris or the one that's... The one that's menacing at our uh, Mr. Y. Okay. Uh, does a 16 hit? Yeah, it does. Are you going for it or the weird slug on the back of it? I'm just going for it. Alright. Um, uh, you said that was a 16. Mm-hmm. That is a hit. Uh, 8 damage. Uh, it is still up, but it is damaged. So that's the first damage it's taken. Good job. Uh, anything else? Uh, that is my turn. Uh, make sure you're keeping track of your arrows. I am. Now. <laughs> at the end of the turn, uh, at the end of combat, uh, there's a fifty percent chance of recovering. Okay, I think I've used it three times. So okay, <clears throat> Joe. Hold on. Your turn. Okay. Uh, was the ape dude that was going ape shit still standing? Yes, it is. I'm gonna go after him. Um, don't quite a bit of damage to him, too. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the back of his head again. Okay, I feel like it's weak. Just leave him alone, he'll die, man. Uh, I got four on my deed to die. Yeah, in five hours. What's your what's your uh, ten? I have to write out this so I can't buy it. 19. That's a hit, Total. man. Yeah. Alright. Hey, Frogman302, we think it's very cool as well. Yeah. Yeah. We're just not familiar enough with it to do it fast yet. Alright, Joe, what's that damage? Yeah. Uh, it is... 9. You kill it. Nice. Hell yeah. Make it dead. Yeah. Sword to the back of the head. Yeah. Dan. I'm going to do nothing. You're no longer stunned. Good turn, me. Well done. Man, how did he get out of it? <laughs> incredible, guys. <laughs> Just incredible. Chris, you're Such up. willpower. Sweet. So that one, that, that one is still up? Uh, the one that you've been fighting is now dead. Yeah, I killed Okay, it. sweet. I'm going to go over to the menacing one. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to stare at him menacingly okay. and then stab him. Okay. You can do it? I In you. the knee, attempting to disable his leg. Oh, man. Oh, that's a good one. I did not succeed at that, but that will hit. That'll be a 23 to hit. That is a hit. Noise. And that's going to be seven damage. Uh, it is still up. Miss the knee and hit him in the thigh. Mm-hmm. Oh, your deed died failed? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Couldn't uh, slice it. Jake? One of these assholes is still up. Yeah, the one I took the swing at. Uh-huh. Uh, what's your character's name, Chris? Snail. Oh yeah, that's right. A uh, savage snail. Because he's tough now. The I'm gonna, savage snail. I'm gonna slap you on your shoulder and say, "You got this," and I'm gonna run away. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Truly inspiring. I imagine I'll be provoking an opportunity attack, but are you engaged in melee combat? I, I tried to swing his own snail at him. Oh. Fuck. You <laughs> are. Last thing I want is for him to just get all pissy and backhand me. Does a nine hit? My not, my AC is nine, so it hits. It hits. I yeah. don't yeah. know. 
Yeah, a hit matching AC is a hit. Okay. There are some yeah. rules in this that go towards the defender. Uh, okay. Oh, it was nice to know you, Mr. <laughs> White. Take six damage. Oh, baby. It was very I'm nice to know you. I am. I'm not only up, I'm running. Okay. <laughs> okay. A fine hit, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Leaves a little poo on the floor behind him. I'm okay. just imagining the Simpsons where Lenny gets punched in the back of the head. Okay. As you're... You got your mind blasted? Running away, this thing tries to mind blast you. Mind the, the ape tries to mind blast me? The worm. Or the, the worm thing on the back of its head. Because after uh, your turn, it's its turn. Oh, what a mind butt freak. hole. And it hits. What a butt hole. How much health do you have there? Uh, Let's see after this. Seven. Uh, I have less than that. Is that how much damage it does? It does seven damage. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, are I'm you still up. No, no. Okay, uh, I'm not only down. I've just freed another worm. <laughs> okay, we'll get we'll get to that soon. So the way this, this works, allows us to recover a body after the fight. Hang, well, you're still bleeding out. Okay, and you've got the rest of this round. Uh-huh. And then two rounds afterwards to receive healing. Oh, cool. And if you receive healing in that time, I could fine. survive. Yep. Luckily for you, you have a cleric who's stunned in your party now. I need You're healing. I need, I need healing. healing. I need healing. I need healing. I'm at the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> oh, all right. I'm going to shoot my I arrow. I need healing. Guys, do I stay at the bottom of the initiative? Yeah, you're there permanently. Yeah. I'm going to shoot my arrow at the big ape thing again. Okay. Uh, which one? make it hurt? I don't think I'm gonna make it hurt uh, unless Damn. it's seven hits. No. Uh, is there anybody in? Chris is engaged in melee combat with it, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I just shot oh, yeah. an yeah. arrow at it. Joe. Yeah. Oh. Well, well like well, you guys were engaged with the other one. Yeah, I haven't moved up on the. One. Chris moved up on it though, didn't he? One. I, I moved one. up on the Chris menacing did. one. Yeah. Okay. Tried to okay. stab yeah. it in the knee. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oops. An eighty flat on my. What are you doing? Percentile. Four. If he rolls fifty or below, he would have hit me. Because I missed on a ranged attack. Oh yes, that's correct. Yeah. All right. You don't accidentally shoot Chris. Don't worry. Better. I'll luck try next again time. next time. <laughs> Better luck next time. Go. I'm gonna move up on the doodad. And not go for the brain slug. Okay. Um, Seems like skills the, the, do. the front of its face. Okay. okay. If I red die. Yeah. Ooh, four. Four on the deed die. Yeah. Okay. So that is a fifteen. That's a hit. Hell yeah. I gotta look at my humans. Oh wow. Well. That is. 14 damage uh, through the face. You slide your blade through this thing's eye socket. And you feel it go limp on your sword. Nice. As your blade also enters into the slug on the back of it. Killing it as well. It's like nice. a kebab. You made a you kebab. can do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, both of the gorilla skull and mind slug. All of the enemies in this room are dead, mm-hmm. uh, except for the one next to Jake. Well, yeah, and it's at this point a non-combatant. So, yeah. oh, snails just like nice. Wait, so Jake's <laughs> still dead? Jake is still dead unless he gets healing right now. Yeah. Huh. Well, then there's the slug next to him. Yeah. So I'm gonna kill it and be like, "Oh darn, it didn't oh, make it." Just smell like, on your own slug. Oh, uh, while they're healing, Jake, you're gonna go up and kill that one. Yeah, okay. too, too bad. I'll let it happen. <laughs> Boy, right. oh dang! Cloak. Oh no! Your quality cloak now has a hole and weird brain slug juices inside. Of it. Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm not taking it out of it. I didn't no, know. You just said you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Snail's annoyed that he got left hanging, so he chases over mm-hmm. after he kills the slug, and he's like, oh. I said, nice. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to read it. Sorry. I got. What are you trying to do? I'm reading my Restore Vitality spell, which for a minute there I thought I didn't restore any HP. Oh, but does it? It does. You better roll that Thank God. <laughs> I was really worried. Jake, what's your alignment? Uh, neutral. Okay. Uh, can I attempt to augment it by using a turn to cast a second sight to try and aid myself in healing him? Here's the thing. I, he uh, has two rounds. Yeah. So if you cast second sight, that's one round. Okay, so I should just try. If and you heal cast two healing, times, that's round two. I'll just try. If heal that twice. healing dies, yeah, I'll just try it twice. It's just a really high chance of failure already. Okay. I feel like twice is better. Trying it twice is better than yeah. Trying to augment it and only getting roll that bean switch, man. Yeah, I have a, a higher chance of augmenting. Roll I'm just saying. Uh, fortunately, it succeeds. So. Uh, you will get. Oh, sorry. Do the flavor first because that's the most important. Uh huh. For this one, uh, a shaft of heavenly light shines on the target, bathing him in light as its ability scores are restored. Oh, well, that's nice. The ability Ooh. scores? That's why I was worried it didn't heal him. Yeah. Because <laughs> ability scores sounds like not that. Because you can restore, like, strength or other things. Uh huh. Or you can also restore damage. Oh, does it it's say the that? last thing it says in the whole? I have like a paragraph this big. Okay, how much does it? Two d four. Since I did good. Well, Jake, you're up. Yeah, that's acceptable. What is that? Two d four. So you get eight. Oh hell yeah, man! Nice. And that's going off of your healing and neutral character. Yeah, I actually need to roll one die for a neutral character. Well, because you heal less for healing a neutral character. Oh, and that's where I, I guess I'm not sure. Where is that at? Where is that at? Well, let's keep the game moving. Jake, that's yeah. how much healing you take. I'm going to go over to their little camp and see if there's anything worth looking at. There's not. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just fruit, weird meat, giant flies buzzing around the meat. Gross. Uh, you do see looking around, you do see. I said a door. A door is incorrect. It's one of the weird blister looking things. Like you just have to go through. We'll pop the blister, Chris. Uh, but hanging on uh, like a little peg sticking out of the wall next to the blister, uh, you can see something metallic. Hmm. What is this metallic thing? Moving up? Yeah. It's a iron key on a ring. Uh, grab it. You grab that ring with that key. Okay. I'm going to poke that key into the blister. It pops. And when it does, uh, the pungent stench of intense and ripe B.O. floods out and just fills your fucking nostrils. Snail's not bothered. He was as slave he's used to people sweating. So uh, it's, it's dark in the whatever's in the other half. Yeah. Oh, I imagine that that detriment may come if I use lay on hands, oh, which, okay. which grants me a lot bigger healing capacity. Yeah. Like apparently. Um, but anyway, does it say that there's penalties for? Uh, I, I'm still reading it, but okay. the, the cleric's alignment further influences the results, whereas restore vitality does not say that. Okay. Anyway. Um, you said a Stark in that other half? Yeah. I kind of want to edge up towards the door Actually, carefully and kind of look, instead. peer through into it. Because okay. I have 60 feet of dark like vision. Sure. What's your good eye? Uh, peering in there. Then I had it better. Uh, you see a crowd of hairy humanoid type creatures. Not the apes that you just fought, uh, but there's a metal. They're metal bars, essentially, like a strong, like, a like jail gate or kind of uh, that splits the room, and you can see all these creatures are on the other side of that room. Right, so sorry, what are they spinning the key around my finger? Like, man, I wonder what that goes to. Hey, uh, let, that uh, might go to this door that's in this room. Let me uh, try and. and uh, Do you think that goes to you. the door over there? Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> so we can see what happens when he opens that door, possibly. Um. 
Maybe we could walk up to the door and talk to them instead. I just gotta try and sec the site. I mean, yeah. Or we could try talking to them. We could talk to him first then if we want to, I guess. I mean, Are you going to go talk to him? I don't want to, but... I'll go talk to him. I'll go try and do, talk to do him. Do they seem, like, aware of us? Uh, yes, and especially, Tyler, as you move into the room, uh, you're greeted with sounds like uh, cries and hoots uh, of, of fear. Hooting and of hollering? fear? You can see that they look like primitive humans, like very primitive humans. Like Cro Magnum Man. I don't know about that. I'm gonna, but... I'm gonna try talking to them. I just, I mean, common. I'm assuming. Uh, they don't appear to be able. They don't. You need okay. more grunts and, and pointing. I think. More. I don't have any grunting or pointing. I mean, I could try horse. No, I mean, just say. Uh, here in the all right. Here in the thing, it does say. All right, stop before we cross into uncomfortable territory. Uh, Homo habilis. If you want to Google it up and see what a picture. Okay. That these things might look like. Um, Only Tim Allen. Would. I don't want to throw. Never mind. They stand about four feet tall, completely unclothed, filthy, terrified. I feel like we should let them go, but yeah, I want to see what's going to happen. Alright. So I just didn't want you to have to roll it if you didn't have to. It doesn't cost me anything. If you fail? No. Oh, because you're a cleric. Never mind. You just get your gods what get pissed you trying at you. To do? Uh, I'm going to, with the. The thought that we are going to try and use the key to set them free, try and see if I can discern what the result of that will be. Oh, are you using He's gonna try second and sight? Roll it. I see nothing. Okay, you see nothing. Oh. Hey Joe, toss me that key. Or Mew, toss me that key. What key? <laughs> the one on your finger. Oh, this one? Yeah, that one. Ah, uh, we can come back oh, to this. Logman's got a good um, idea. Give him some food. Yeah. That's how we'll make How friends. many of them are there? If only I took the spell. Oh, yeah, really is like a little monkey man. Instead, when I didn't. That'd be neat. Gross. Have a list. Gross. Um... As a crown, uh, we're gonna go with like twelve. Um, it's more than we how, can fight. How does this door open? Uh, it swings it out. Swings out. Yeah. To us. Yeah. Once it's out, there's no stopping it. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say, I want like um, Chris and all of our characters to be like. Able to force the door shut if they try and push into it. Okay. I want to just try and see if I can let one out and see what they do. Uh, you move up and you open the door. The rest of you get in position to push it close. As soon as that door opens, they all move to the back of the room and cower in fear. Oh. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go drag one of the corpses of the ape dudes in, and then just beckon at it. Uh, as you as the you drag the ape in, uh, they start hooting and cowering in fear. I'm gonna like, behead it in front of them. Uh, you're definitely not winning them over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I think Frogman does have a good like, idea. Was there some? Did you there like them? There, there was food. There was food downstairs. Maybe in the same room, in the, the other room here, there was. Maybe we can bring them some and of there the was food. Fruit, so. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna kick that head out of my way and then go grab some food and bring it over. What kind of yeah. food are you grabbing? Um, I'm, whatever's I'm, not right, covered in flies. Uh, it's all. I'm gonna go grab a, a chunk of meat. I'm gonna go bring grab it back up. all the worms and and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the uh, the mat that all the food is on. I'm gonna put all the dead worms in there. All oh, the okay. maggots. Yeah. Okay. No. No. The, no, the oh, the brain slugs. slugs. Yeah. So you oh, grab some meat, those. Chris, and how are you presenting this? I'm just gonna like toss it in toward them. Uh, they start shrieking at it. And move away from it. Yeah, not a good idea. Oh. Try handing. The I want to vegans. I'm gonna try handing one of them a, a like a, a fruit. Uh, they they do as cautiously, non-threateningly as possible. Come up and snatch the fruit out of your hand. 
Okay, I don't know what to do with this. Uh, you, you can just move on. <laughs> you know, I think yeah, we don't I have mean, to do anything. Let's, yeah. let's line some fruit up to the door. Like, ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> ooh, a piece of candy. Just lead them out. Let's leave the gate open. And yeah, I'm just going to leave the gate open. Yeah, just leave we're the gonna gate open. Hold on to the key. We're I mean, going to make, make the trail of candy to the They door. seem like they're scared of everything, and they're probably not going to be any threat to us. So Probably not, or else we'll regret mm-hmm. everything here in about five minutes. Well, yeah, I mean, that's a distinct possibility. Should we head towards the... The ramp going up? Yeah. yeah. We'll leave the gate open. And we will, we will find out what's at the top of that ramp uh, in our next episode. Oh, Ooh, shit. There we go. Uh, okay. Uh, Twitch people will be back in just a couple of moments. Uh, YouTube people will be back in a couple of days. And then once again, if we podcast this shit, who the fuck knows when the next podcast will be out. Uh, anyway, so don't you fucking go anywhere. We'll be right back momentarily. So... See you later, man. We're back.